So I get a lot of questions about grains and one of the questions I got is, are all grains all bad all the time? So I'm gonna break this down a little bit. No, not all grains are all bad all the time. So I'm gonna start there. But let me talk about why we tell you to limit your grains, especially in the beginning. So in phase one of the Omni Diet, we ask you to cut your grains out completely. There's a reason for that. Um, we want you to cut all foods that quickly turn to sugar. For phase one, we're trying to reset your metabolism. We wanna heal some things, we wanna heal your gut. So I definitely want people to cut out all gluten and gluten-containing grains, but I initially ask them to cut out all grains. It quickly helps decrease that inflammation. They're gonna see quick results. They're gonna feel really good. Their energy's gonna go up. Most importantly, it's gonna help break the addiction to sugar. So that's one of the reasons we have people cut out all grains initially. And we put them on what we call an elimination diet. So it's like a modified elimination diet. We really wanna see what foods you're reacting to, and then you can start adding foods back in. So on phase one, you're taking out all grains. But as you go back, what I tell people is start adding them back in one by one. Now I want you to eliminate gluten completely. We just don't really see many benefits. Some people can try gluten back in their diet. Most people that I know feel so much better without it. Some people just have radical reactions to it and they realize it once they start eating it again. Other people just realize they feel better without it. But regarding the other grains, things like oatmeal, uh, some brown rice, things like that, Add them back in slowly and try only having a half cup at a time when you eat it. So I tell people, think of them like a condiment. So one of the issues in the standard American diet is that we think of grains as our staple. So every meal is like loaded down with rice or oats or you know some sort of grain. And then what we're doing is we're just sort of putting a little bit of this and that on top of it. I want you to flip that around. I want it to be mostly vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, a little bit of grains if you're going to eat them, and a little bit of protein. That's really the way I want people to begin to think of how to use grains. The other thing is something like quinoa is actually not a grain, it's a seed. That's why I use it so often in my recipes. I actually use it a lot at home. So when I'm gonna use something that is you know, grain-like, I'll go for quinoa and get much better results. It's high in protein, it tastes really good. I can replace wheat with it, I can replace oftentimes oats or lots of different things. It's also okay to add some more grains, gluten-free grains, for athletes. So athletes will tend to burn through a lot of calories. Their metabolisms are really high. And I have a lot of men especially who will tell me, I love your program, but I'm just having trouble keeping weight on. That's when you know it's time to add some things like some brown rice or a little bit of oatmeal or more quinoa and other types of carbs like sweet potatoes and bananas and things like that. And one of the keys, one of the things to watch out for when you add them back in, pay attention. So this is why we have you eliminate them completely in the beginning because you'll quickly notice that change. If you eliminate them, when you go back to eating them, do you get bloated? Do you feel tired? Do you have GI problems and upset stomach and you know other digestive issues that we don't wanna talk about here? Um, you'll notice really quickly if that's the case. So I did add some grains back in when I started training really hard. I'm training for my black belt right now. And that, when I started that process, I started adding a lot more grains back in. Um, for me, a lot more grains, still, not much compared to most people. But what happened was I knew quickly what my limit was because I started having some bloating and GI issues. It's like, oh, okay, I can eat this much, I can't eat that much. After not eating them for a long time, it becomes very clear to you. One of the questions I got regarding grains was about sprouted grains. So yes, if you're gonna eat grains, again, go gluten-free, and sprouted grains are better. They do contain more protein, they're healthier. And things like Ezekiel bread, if you're using the gluten-free Ezekiel bread with sprouted grains, I would say if you're gonna have bread, that would be the one I would go for. But again, I would say make it a condiment, not a staple. I would not have this as part of my, for me, my daily routine. So I hope this clarified the question. I'd love for you to leave your comments and questions down below. Thank you.